Okay guys, uh, Alex Train Spoiler HD and uh, welcome back to another new video. Uh, today I'm at Dawlish Warren today uh, on this Monday afternoon. Uh, weather wise is pretty good today. Um, so uh, that's the good thing. Um, the bad thing is there's still a few issues like yesterday, uh, train crew issues and, and whatnot. But uh, hopefully we can still make something in the way of a video here at uh, Dawlish Warren. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy. You will see services from Greatestham Railway and Cross Country. Uh, the train I got to get to here was a, um, a free car uh, 166 205. Um, I would have recorded that but I was having trouble setting up this, uh, <laughs> this tripod but I finally uh, got it set up. Um, so uh, there we go, I'm still getting used to the uh, tripod so you have to bear with me guys. So uh, yeah. I will, I will get there, I promise. Um, so yeah, you will see services from Greatest Railway and Cross Country. Uh, should be made for a good video, I'm not sure how long this video will be, but I'll make it long as I can. So, um, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay guys, well we're back in the video, and uh, I think the first train we're going to kick off the video will be a Cross Country service from Plymouth going to Leeds. Um, we may have another passing service going through on this side as well because it's like both uh, signals are green so um, yeah I could definitely hear a train come in because I can definitely hear some tones <laughs> I think we may be kicking off the video with a HST it's not actually showing, showing the numbers with this actually though giving out the tones well, that was 43 357 uh, at the front didn't quite catch the number at the back. Nice little uh, way to kick off the video there. So the uh, HST. I think that one's actually uh, running late. So, um, yeah. Now, like I said, there's been a, there's a few uh, issues today with the trains, uh, mainly uh, train crew issues today only. Uh, there's no other problems at the moment today, unlike yesterday where there was a lot of problems. Um, I am taking the risk coming here though because the trains are not exactly great again today but uh, there we go it is what it is you, you got to take a risk now and again um, okay so we'll be back uh, shortly with some more trains okay guys well I'm back in the video uh, don't normally uh, you know show my face uh, during during a video I normally do the intro and outro but I thought I'd come back into the video and actually show my face again uh, there seems to be, a, like I said from yesterday, there was a lot of train crew issues on the uh, Exworth Payton line. Yet again, that is happening today. Now, in my view, this is going to be happening a lot uh, now. Um, people say it's down to the strike action that is happening. Um, maybe it is, I don't know, but uh, either way, it's not ideal, is it? It really is not ideal. Um, obviously, I did a talking video on this, but... Uh, be interesting to know your views on why all these uh, trains are getting cancelled. You know, out of the blue, it, you know, it, it's running, then halfway it just gets cancelled. For example, the next train on here, um, obviously was a service to Paynton, but it got cancelled at St. David's. And it's, this is not going to Paynton now, so uh, not ideal. Um, they have reinstated a service, hopefully, from St. David's to go to Paynton. Hopefully that does run. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the next train on this side is running, but that's running late as well. So, uh, i got to say, worrying times on the railway. Um, it's funny, really. It, it, it's, been, it's been happening ever since I've got this tripod, eh? Have I drinked the railway? Probably haven't. But, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd come back into the video to uh, let you guys know on that. Um, it's not ideal, is it? To say the least. So, uh I got to see what I can record on this video. Uh, this video could be uh, not a very long one, but uh, could be a video nonetheless. 
like I said, just have to see what I can record uh, that uh, stops and goes through, really. Just have to play it by here. Okay guys, well we're back in the video and we finally got another train. My god. Um, <laughs> here's a grass from Railway Surrey's from Painton Dexworth. And yes, it is actually running, would you believe? I just feel like, you know, when they cancel trains halfway through a journey, they just don't care about their customers. That's just my view. May, people may think differently, but I just don't think they care about their customers, really. You know, to, I mean, to cancel trains at this time of the year, especially when it's the summer, it's nearly the summer holidays, don't forget, is uh, this is not going to be ideal if this uh, train crew issues uh, keep on uh, happening. Anyway, we got 249 at the uh, front and we'll, uh, we'll catch the number at the back very shortly. Okay, guys, well, we're back in the video. I'm going to have to try and record the uh, this train this way. Um, yeah. It should really leave straight away, but uh, you know, it seems to be hanging around. Quite a few passengers getting off. Excuse me, me guys, I'm going to move this camera a bit. There we go. Sorry if this, this video is all over the place at the moment, you know, hopefully it'll get better soon. Okay, guys. Uh, just to let you know, I cut that cut that uh, clip short there. I've uh, forgotten to tell you the number at the back of that uh, Cirrus to X movie. I think it was two six three. Okay, so I'm about to come through now. Will be a gratis from railway service from Cardiff Central to Penzance. This one is actually running, and would you believe, running on time. Zero nine seven at the front. Um, don't know the number at the back though. Always good to see a castle set though. Always good to see a castle set. Okay, guys. Well, we're finally back in the video here at Dawlis Warren, and about to come through now will be a um, a late running Gretsch from Railway Service from London Panton going to Penzance. Well, this one's only a five car IET. And it's 800 Okay guys, well we're back in the video and uh, coming in shortly should be a gratis from railway service from painting going to Exmouth this one is running. Uh, yep, she's coming in now. This is only a two-car uh, 150. <laughs> yes, and a joy. Yeah, I still, I still, I still, still think you know the state of the railway lately, guys, has just been so bad. You know, train, train crew issues, trains getting cancelled. 
other problems happened yesterday with signal failures and whatnot. It's just not been good whatsoever. It's just, yeah. So this is 150... 266. According to the real time trains app, this was meant to be 150.238. So we'll go with the 266. Apparently, um, the uh, trains app knows what they're doing, apparently, but yeah, okay. We'll keep the camera on for this as uh, shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be staying there too long as it is running a little bit late. Okay guys, so we're back in the video here at uh, Doris Warren and um, yeah, quite a lovely Doris Warren is actually as well, lovely and sunny. Um, and coming in now is a Gretz Railway service from Exeter St David's going to Paynton. This one uh, got cancelled in between Exmouth and St David's, 2-2, two, two. yep, you guessed it, you, you know what, train crew issues. <coughs> Now, obviously, I thought in the way that these train crew shoes were uh, out of the way. You know, the last few months have been brilliant. The train crew shoes, hardly any. But now, lately, these last, well, say, two to three weeks, has been absolutely shocking for train crew shoes. So, uh, yes, yeah, not good. And like I said, people saying it's due to the strikes. I'm not so sure. Maybe one or two, maybe to do with the strikes. But, you know, if you get a load of train crew shoes I don't think it's to do with the strikes not all of it like I said they don't just they don't seem to care about their customers if they cancel the train all of a sudden so uh, yeah well, I'm glad this train's running because this is going to be my train back to Marsh Barton later so uh, yeah <laughs> this would be the 165135 Bloody train stinks, to say the least. But a lovely uh, acknowledgement and uh, away from the driver there. Thank you for that. Okay, so there's two more things I'm going to get on camera before I end the video, guys. It'll be a uh, passing service, cross-country pass from Glasgow Central to Plymouth. That one's actually on time, um, which is good to see. <laughs> and a uh, another service that's actually on time as well, would you believe, from Penzance to London Pounds and. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I was about to say we'll come back shortly, but uh, we'll keep the camera rolling even more, turning attention this way, as we do have that uh, cross country service from Glasgow Central to Plymouth, about to, uh, well, slowly make our way through, of course, because uh, this train only just came in. <clears throat> Now, uh, this, as this is going a little bit slow at the moment, maybe I can actually catch a number on this train. <laughs> Normally, I don't when they go zooming through, but uh, I may be able to catch them on this one.
may pick up speed now though. <laughs> Having said that. So that was 220.010. Okay then guys, we'll uh, come back into the video with the very final train. It'll be a service from Henzance to uh, London Paddington. So we'll come back then. Okay guys, we're back with the final train of the video. It'll be a Gretzham Railway service uh, from Penzance to London Paddington. And that was 802, uh, I think that was 802, 102. Okay guys, uh, that will do now for uh, trains at uh, Dawlish Warren. I uh, hope you enjoyed this session. It's been a bit of an unusual one, I have to admit. Uh, one or two trains getting cancelled and whatnot, but uh, what can you do about that? You know, you just gotta play it by ear when it comes to trains. We know what, you, we know what in the, um, we know what the train situation's like now, don't we? So, uh, yeah. But uh, despite that, we actually uh, seen a decent mix of trains at uh, Doris Warren. We started with that cross country HST. Uh, we did see a castle set. We did see some IETs. We saw uh, some turbos. Uh, and we did see one or two 150s. So, uh, and Vorgers as well. Must not leave out the Vorgers. <laughs> so overall, still, a good mixture of trains um so yeah uh, so my next uh, video uh, i'll probably will make another video um at some point this week i'm not sure when it, i i do keep a close eye on the train situation now um uh, especially uh, this week as it's uh, well you know from yesterday that the trains were all over the place so i do keep a close eye on the train situation and uh you know if the trains are all right moving forward this week, then I will be out making another video. If they're all over the place again, then I may uh, may not make a video. So uh, yeah, just depends on the train situation. The weather's gonna be fine this week. It just depends on the train situation. So uh, yeah. So despite this uh, little bit of chaotic, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, train video at Doris Warren. Uh, if you did, leave a big fat like and any feedback will be greatly appreciated. Um, so yeah, so until uh, next time from uh, me here at a uh, very sunny uh, Dawlish Warren, I shall see you all soon guys. Take care. <laughs>